Good morning. All of you have joined us this morning. Ah, lovely to be with you once again. But we'll just have a, a few moments just while others catch up with us. And uh, so we can just listen to the music and bring ourselves down to earth. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. On this uh, Sunday morning, um, the fifth of September, I think it is. And uh, we haven't got the sun yet, but I think it will come. But I hope you've all had a good week. And uh, you're ready here to share with us all once again. To send out the healing that's needed out in the world. <clears throat> and uh, yesterday... As many of you know that we had our 75th anniversary of uh, healing at the sanctuary and uh, after the healing minute, uh, our quiet time together, um, I'm just going to um, say a few words about that. It was lovely to see some of you there. And uh, for those who weren't able to be there, I hope you've been able to catch up on Facebook with some of the events that were happening. So now we're just going to attune ourselves and ground ourselves with a short meditation. And I want you to make sure you're comfortable wherever you are. Whether you're lying down or sitting down, just breathe in the love and healing and allow any tension within you to dissipate. And imagine yourself walking along a deserted beach beside some tall cliffs. The sun is on your back and the sea laps gently on the sand. Take a couple of deeper breaths and breathe in the freshness of the ocean and let, in, let out anything that needs to be released from your body, mind, and spirit. And as you walk along, you come across an opening in the cliff face. And as you enter this passageway, feel enveloped in the stillness. The passage has a bend, and as you go round this, you are dazzled by light coming from the center of a big cavern. As your eyes adjust, you see the walls covered in beautiful crystals, sparkling in all colors, green, blue, red, gold, mauve, aquamarine. Run your fingers along the wall and feel the energy emanating from this living rainbow of colours. There is a seat around the wall, a small bubbling pond in the middle of the cavern, reflecting the colours of this rainbow. 
sit and watch the coloured ripples on the surface of the water spread out to the edge. The ripples represent all the fears and worries, pain and uncertainties that are in your mind, body and spirit. And feel yourself getting calmer. Breathe in this beautiful healing energy and choose one of the crystals. It comes away in your hand. It is the colour you need today. Hold it in your hand. Feel its texture, whether it's smooth or got some rough edges. Just feel the energy of that stone, that crystal in your hand. Feel its energy coming into you, filling you with love, healing and peace. And in this stillness and peace, bring yourself back to where you are sitting or lying as we prepare for our sharing time together to send out the healing for yourself and for others. Let's have a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord, we give thanks that we are here today in our homes, our special place, a place of peace, loving and healing. And we give thanks for the love that unites us, for the peace that has been given to us and for the hope we can have for the days to come. We give thanks for the health we have and we ask for help for those who are in need of healing. We give thanks for the food we eat and all those who labour to bring it to our table. And we remember those who are less fortunate than ourselves. We give thanks to Mother Earth for the splendour and delights of the earth. And we ask that we will take care of the legacy of this planet that has been left to us for future generations. And we give thanks for all your, our family and friends in all parts of the world. And for those of our family and friends who have been part of our lives during their time on earth. Amen. And now, Harry Edwards' prayer. May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness and protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity and let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. And now, feel the connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. As we ask, 
that all the peoples whose names we hold in the distant healing folder also we request healing for their families and friends who have asked for healing and any members of our own family and friends who need that healing and for ourselves we also remember the animal kingdom And may this light, love, strength and healing go out into the four corners of our planet, that each one placed in the healing light will receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And now a minute of quiet as we send out these requests. Thank you everybody for joining in that lovely healing time together and we thank our friends in spirit who walk and work beside us helping us to send out that healing love. Thank you and it's much needed as we say in this world today. There's so much going on and uh, don't forget if any of you need healing or you know of anybody um, family or friends who need healing um, just send us email and if you want a, a, a reply to your email or whether you want um, healing by zoom or telephone uh, just get in touch with the girls and they will sort out your requests but thank you excuse me And um, I was going to <clears throat> read something. Uh, I had it all prepared last night and then suddenly about quarter to ten. Um, I think the day caught up with us because we had such a lovely uh, time to, uh, with many, many at the sanctuary yesterday. And um, I thought I'd just like to share a few thoughts from that day, from the day together. Um, because you know it was a, a special day at the home and heart of spiritual healing the 75th anniversary of when Harry Edwards with his family brought Burroughs Lee known as the Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary and a beautiful sanctuary it is set in the Surrey Hills full of calm, peace and healing energy and it was lovely to be there with a number of you who have become known to us through Zoom and Facebook over the past 18 months. And it was great to see you in person, not just miniatures of you that we see on the screen. And it was lovely to hear and share with you. And we did hear a number of people talking about the great man himself, from those who knew him personally, and those who through various ways were guided by Harry's spirit to continue the work of healing and how they came on their journey to the sanctuary. 
And we also had the privilege of some of his family were there. His daughter Felicity came over from the Isle of Wight and his grandchildren and great-grandchildren who shared their stories of a very family man. Saw a different side of Harry. And it brought home to me what a legacy he left for all of us. Not only his home, but the legacy of healing. And how he struggled to bring this alternative and complementary therapy into the medical profession and other religions. And he was blocked all the time. But he still had faith and believed. He was such a giant of a man, not in stature, but in his presence, his charisma, which is strongly felt at this sanctuary. He physically travelled to many countries, sharing and spreading his gift of healing, touching so many people. And because of him, we can now continue to reach out to many people in different countries through Facebook and Zoom and can continue to share the healing with you through as we have done over these past months. And I want to say thank you to all of you who have invited us into your homes each day for the healing minute in order to still bring healing out to the world. We owe Harry Edwards a huge debt of gratitude for making this possible. For he sowed the seed that was sown 75 years ago in Burroughs Lee and it has become a global garden of peace, love and healing. And may it continue to expand for another 75 years. I just want to say thank you to all of you for sharing in this time together of collectively sending love and healing out to those in need. It is appreciated and it is very powerful. And because of you, we are here. And don't forget, we are here whenever and wherever you need us. And we say a big thank you to you and an even bigger thank you to Mr Edwards for making this possible, for bringing, sowing that seed for us to benefit from. The unconditional love, the seed is there. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, my prompt has just reminded me, the notices of this week. Um, we have uh, on Thursday, the 9th of uh, September, there's a sound bath at 11 o'clock in the sanctuary. I'm not sure who is taking it. Uh, it just says it's um, hosted by the sanctuary and you need to book for this event. And next Sunday, we have healing after the healing minute. We have healing for you with Alan once again. Thank you. And uh, tomorrow, Tracy will be with you as usual for the healing minute. So I hope you'll be joining her then. And on Tuesday, we haven't got a healing minute. I think it's been explained to you that because of circumstances, uh, some people are not being able to um, take the uh, share. On So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there, there won't be a healing minute, but all the other days, it, there will be. And um, I say thank you once again for being here with us. And uh, as I said, because of you, we're here. And uh, I want to end with the song, um, The Rose, because it's a seed of love. And however we look at it, when things are down or up, that seed of love is sown within us. And we come through the winter into spring. Some say love 
I'm sorry, I find it difficult to stay still and not sing along. <laughs> Please excuse me. Some say love it is greater than greed for soul to read. Some say love it is a It's the heart afraid of breaking that never learns to dance. It's the dream afraid of waking that never takes the chance. It's the Skins of the lonely and the road has been so long and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong just remember Thank you. It was lovely because a few of you said, oh, sorry about the, my song not singing, but you joined in as well. That's lovely. Thank you. And may the rose be with you in all its beauty and love this week. So have a good week, folks, and uh, stay safe. Take care. And uh, I'll see you again soon. God bless. And may the angels walk with you and keep you safe and thank you also for the birthday wishes <laughs> I'll sort Tana out later <laughs> putting that on but thank you <laughs> bye bye <laughs>